so let's continue Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying so far. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is We're heading off again. Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in Sid's crazy plan to get to the capital? Um, but it's like, uh, it's a downgrade. <laughs> Everything's a down. I don't need anything. Speaking of Oriflam, are you the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic? If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tie as bile tea. <sighs> Just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. I thought maybe my weaponry was behind, but th that's weird. She's selling something less. Um, guess go see Otto. Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sis been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known it. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. Yeah, Sid's... He's convinced it's the right thing to do. Sid's deduced that, um... The, the big crystals are responsible for the blight. Because they're just sucking the energy out of the Earth, and that's how the crystals get their energy. By sucking the life force out of the planet. It's, you know, a whole comment on... An inconvenient truth, I guess. Is like... The planet's slowly dying, but they need these crystals as an energy source. That one. Well, that's God's for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. So they're gonna blow up the crystal. That's that's the plan. On the front lines and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of light minded ne'er do wells could melt into the <laughs> Did Sid give a percentage chance? No, Sid's not as, as advanced as Fee. The, problem. the checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true... Oh, uh, yeah, and... Mum ordered uh, her soldiers go destroy the village we were in, so we're kind of angry at her. When we came back to the village, everyone was dead, so that was a thing. The veil, and she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman, right? <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report. When you get back. We've also come to terms with who we are, so we're in control of our powers. Alliance reports unlocked. Okay. Alliance reports are now available for viewing by speaking to Gort at the Alliance report counter in the Hideaway's Mess. These reports, compiled by the Curse Breakers, contain information on quests currently avail available across Valisthea. I mean, the side quests so far have been very, very minimal, so... Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? I'll, I'll take a look. Goat at your service. Well, Goat? Hideaway service. My bad. Goat. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or, or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. I reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. 
Yeah, let's have a look. Anything catch your eye? Okay. Um Welcoming committee. Gil. Gil. It's just money. I don't I don't I don't feel as inclined to, to do these. What do you what do you think, chat? Unlike um the Yakuza series or Like a Dragon, there's no uh shenanigans that are gonna ensue from this. I'll I'll do one and let's just see how it's like, but if it's just money I was hoping for crafting materials, but it's it's not even that. Alright, while the cat's away. Maybe it'll involve an actual cat. <laughs> At the very least. Let's see. It's done. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. Not what I was expecting. I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. Why is it called while the cat's away? All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Let's see. Ha! Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Hmm? Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Get him, man. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Uninvited guest. It's over. It really doesn't give that much experience either. I mean, okay, I did get some crafting material off their bodies, so maybe that might make it worth it. There he is, the hero of the Golden Stables. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, Merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosario a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. How much money? Oh no, you do- okay. You do get stuff. Alright. Let me take a look at the blacksmith and see what exactly I'm going for. Wait a minute. Toggle has stats? <laughs> Pedigree. Did we can level up Toggle? Oh, that's concerning. Joel doesn't have stats in the party. Hmm. Hopefully this doesn't pull a Final Fantasy VII on us. Oh, 
All right, let's have a look. Make it quick. So, what it be? I can make. Oh, I can make flame tongue. Okay, uh, that's better weapon. Alright, uh, cool, I got a better sword. Then, let's just move on. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. <laughs> I can't get over the triple ponytail. Alex said is the keystone of the Empire. Or in chaos, yes. I kind of want to see someone try to have that haircut in real life. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail? Well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, primary an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. <laughs> Yeah, let's just continue main quest. I didn't see any other sword upgrades, so I guess I'm fine for now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing? I'm curious if there's going to be any other accents in this game. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. It's not that I mind it, it's just curiosity. Ah, see, I wish there was a mini map sometimes. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, over there. Okay, I guess. Let's just make sure. Up this road? Yep. Alright, follow this road. Wait. Even Doggo's not with me? Oh no, Doggo's with me. Okay. As long as Doggo's with me, I'm fine. Yeah, the sword is much better. Already I can see the difference.
<laughs> Dragon's a little tanky. It's fine. I want I want the dragon pot. It's gonna be like uh, across the whole game. It's gonna be like a Mega Man thing where whoever we fight, we steal their power. Because there's some interesting powers up for grabs. I mean, I would imagine there'd be at least one more. Because that guy... Oh, I forget his name. But, you know, um, Backstabia's, uh... Giant... <laughs> giant lover is not happy with us. Sick of Toggle! So I would imagine we're going to fight that guy next. There. Northreach. Oh, there's a couple over here. The other thing, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be the case here, but I remember from Final Fantasy 13 there were just gigantic enemies roaming the land, and there were things that you just... I mean, even in the late game, it was hard to fight them. I haven't seen anything along those lines here yet. I hope the dame has friends in the south. You there? Fancy the right to confiscate any objects. Not another step, branded, or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Quest destination nearby. Oh, there. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. That's a very fancy dress. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. Ooh, that's a fancy way to say it. Clientele. Isabel. Proprietress of the Vale, Northway's foremost house of ill repute, and one of Sid's trusted collaborators. 
Isabel is much admired by the populace for her elegance and refinement qualities that have earned her the title, the Dame. We got more on Sid. Uh, yeah, so I mean, in his quest to create a world where bearers and dominance can die on their own terms, he unearthed the shocking truth that the Mother Crystals were the cause of the all-consuming blight. He plans to see the Mother's fall, that Valisea and her people might be saved. Um, Northreach, a town which doubles as a defensive gateway to Sandbrek's holy capital of Oriflam. It was originally a purely military outpost, a towering bastion constructed to prevent land-based assaults on the capital from the southwest. To this day, a heavily guarded checkpoint ensures that no one can pass through the wall without prior authorization, and as such, the need to linger here prior to entering has led to the rise of a thriving market and various other commercial enterprises on the wall's southern side. The garrison, however, along with the inns and brothels, most of the soldiers frequent, as well as the residents of the nobles who make Northreach their home, remain on the northern side. Back. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. How's she gonna smuggle me in? Likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless. Unless what? <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. That will do nicely, but I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? I need an adult. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment Mysterious the sexy lady, she's gonna help us into the town, Liquison. But today it is going to give you exactly I mean we don't really know much about her, so still mysterious. Just that she's friends with um Madame. With one of our friends. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. It's a very fancy color scheme on that dress. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. Yeah, the colors are very vibrant and nice. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. An arrangement? 
now, if you'd care to follow me. Jeez. Speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. What has Sid got on us into here? Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something. Yes, customer. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Oh, they've all got like you look stunning. Similar dresses. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. The veil, huh? <laughs> I love the, the quest update. Or take seven steps forward. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question... I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life so Why are the ladies so light and colorful while the men are so dark and gloomy? I mean... She's known for being elegant, so that's why she's bright. But him in particular... Um... I mean... Hold on. Damn it. It doesn't have it. But, long story short, he's considered uh, just beneath everyone. It's like, you know, you have homeless people. He's beneath that. Because he, I guess, is gifted as like a magic user. So they use him as a tool, and it's like slavery, so they branded him. That's the mark on his cheek. So society shuns them. Um, but specifically, you know, he's dressed in his father's outfit. That's why. And he's uh, seen some shit in his lifetime, like... Very Game of Thrones style shit. <laughs> okay. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. I mean, is, is she a lady of the night? Let's see. The Vale. North Reed's premier house of companionship. Yep. While it is frequented mainly by Sandbrex nobility and military, Lady Isabel welcomes all with the desire and the coin to partake of the pleasures her skilled courtesans and courtiers offer. Few establishments in the Empire are well, as well loved or oft visited. Yeah. Um, there's nothing new here anyway. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. <laughs> haven't, haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I 
So you're the new escort the girls have been Yes, best doggo. And you've already been doggo has healing magic. Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she The doggo is my white mage. To you before before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name. Most dogs do emotional healing. Oh, this is like both emotional and literal healing. Like. Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Um. Spent every gilly earned on Tatien. And picked five Yeah, like 15 from. He was a puppy, and then. Shit happened. Shit went down. Didn't see him again for 13 years, and they got reunited, and it was like nothing changed. So Doggo recognized him instantly. You didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Because uh, he was very emotionally broken. Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy Sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Immortal dog. I think, I mean, because... The way that I see it is like... It might be... It's not like a dog like we're used to. It might be like uh, just some different species, kind of like the Chocobo. They they look like giant chickens, but they're not chickens. So it might not be representative of like a a normal dog. I don't know. He is definitely magic. He he can cast spells and <laughs> does attacks like uh, like Samus Aaron's attacks. There's a couple of side quests here, but I'll tend to the main quest first. I heard the bones fell favorably to the veil. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. <laughs> Jeez. Where's the dame's brooch? One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us. Yeah, that's right, dickhead. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. Such language. Oh, no, this is very gritty for a Final Fantasy game. Like, this is very, very gritty. The dame, thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Like, I, I've been... Very surprised at just the gore in this compared to the last one I played was 13, so the one with lightning. And 13 seems like a, a cartoon <laughs> compared to this. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a the merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand. And he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Uh. In. Hold on.
Oh, okay. Now we gotta we gotta walk. That's fine. Get to see more of the environment. Looks cool. This game is really nice looking. shift with the music that's enough for today branded <laughs> nobody likes us that's enough dallying you up the law you there's still work to be done If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I Man, people... Her. A soldier who may have in in this town, they they frequent the brothels quite a bit, huh? <laughs> Just seems that everyone knows they're a favor. Their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader. Oh yeah, stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting. From what I hear, if you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks around here would see nothing else to do for fun. Yeah, I, I guess. With the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. I mean, it'd be like what working, working on a farm most of the day, and then when the sun goes down, just take a trip to the local brothel. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach. <laughs> These accents are great. Perhaps you've heard of her. Can you say water? Well, why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Hmm. Not at all. I would do anything for the dame. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to emphasize it like that? That I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. Man, this dame is like the most powerful character we've seen in a while. It's just. Smells of death here, Torgo. Oh, bugger. Torgo! Well done, Torgo! 
Just wait for the cartwheel from the dog. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen him do that before. Get that. Oh no. Damn it all. Bodies. Well, a man and a woman. Yeah. The wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. Very uh very gritty for a Final Fantasy game. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. Whoa, who the hell are you? <laughs> you said her name was <laughs> Where did he come from? Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. It's this guy. I to find Yannick. By the looks of things... I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Any info on him? What, this guy? I think it's just generic soldier. Um, but there's law on the slave masters. Those who own and manage bearer slaves. A bearer must always obey the orders of his and his or her master and are largely forbidden from acting independently, even from speaking without express permission. When it is necessary to relinquish supervision of a bearer, such as when dispatching one on an errand, masters will often affix the emblem of their house or business to the slave's clothing, that they are not mistaken for an escapee. There's more on Sandbrook. Let's see. So we know, you know, what it is. Um, the Empire is ruled by the Holy Emperor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just like a minor revision to the lore of the place we're in. ...find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this... A lot of these characters, for soldiers, they look really clean. <laughs> Should have seen the... the dudes at the start. Ugh. One of them just... Pristine skin. Something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. They're afraid of her. Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. What is this sparkly thing over here? Also, look at the view. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, milady. Of course you could. I did not been personal. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. 
They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but... You needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. My dear Tatia, it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan, especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatia. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Oh, we should just got on a bit more serious now. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil. Counts among its patrons several high ranking officers of the Imperial Army. Of course, it does. One of the looser tongued gentlemen. It would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Oh yeah, um, Emperor dude had a meeting and, uh, you know, talk of resources being low because of this blight taking out usable farmland. So, gathering up the soldiers to do some nefarious shit. Can I fast travel? No. <laughs> of course not. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. We'll see. It says writing wrong, so I'm kind of curious what this is. Worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Do I like the realism RPG style better than the cartoony stuff? Uh I mean I en I enjoy both. I do appreciate this one has a lot of voice acting. It's not like other RPGs where they might voice act a bit of it, and then you have to read, like, the remaining 60%. This is, uh, it's like a movie. Yeah, that's, uh, the, yeah, the dude that voices Sid voices, uh, what's-his-face? Lorath. From Diablo 4, so. It's like, the guy is part of the two biggest games right now. Yeah. I like his voice. Hey. 
<laughs> as long as the storytelling is good, I don't, I don't mind the art style. Like, I guess this is less anime would be the way to describe it. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, less, yep. <laughs> More gritty, less anime. Like if HBO picked up, uh... Final Fantasy. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to He know? always has a shortcut. Fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. Inconvenient truth, it's like... Heaven forbid it causes any sort of burden on money-making. Clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Yeah, the condition they get for using magic is more or less... It's like radiation, and eventually it turns them to stone. So Sid's got that. So he's he's already sick with that. He's simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Hold on. I forgot to do this, my bad. Uh, so we know of Arflam already. Uh, just saying... Yeah, there's nothing new there. And it's just talking about Drake's head being the Mother Crystal. Okay. Mysterious ether floods and the specter of the ever-encroaching blight have led some in power to call that permanence into question. Yeah. Right. Got it. I'll do me. Might at least pretend to There's gonna be a, a, a land war, basically. Faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Is there anything else? Oh, this map's still like... <laughs> I swear, it just reminds me of Game of Thrones. The lighting and everything, but... Like, you could put... Credits here.
You have reached a pivotal moment in the story and will not be able to re hold on. <laughs> Can I save? Uh, I can't save. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't save. So, let's just see what happens. men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. <laughs> I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. I was a bit quiet. Uh, I was just getting my tea out of the infuser thingy, so I have tea now. Destroy it, and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the inner sanctum is guarded, then we embrace the moment. <laughs> tea, yeah. I got a uh, like a pomegranate tea. It's nice. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. Obviously. Don't worry, the passage is empty. I forget what else it has, but it's a, it's a fruit and herbal tea. There is no stealth in this game. It's just leap in. Go, dogger. You know what's on Get away. It's okay, we were very quiet. No one heard that. That way. They never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. <laughs> Very inconspicuous. <laughs> but you know what? I appreciate that they're not doing the one trope that they do in these kind of games during a a sneaking thing. It's like when you have companions, the companions are constantly going, Shh, be quiet, they'll hear you! Shh, be quiet, they'll hear us! And they just say it super loudly. It's like, dude, shut up. <laughs> I know, I know we're sneaking. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain, two arms! Two men. Some of them.
Ups. <lacht> Den Dodge. I mean, this is Final Fantasy, but just the way it plays now with it, the combat being more action-based. It, it definitely makes it feel like a whole different game. What now? That is, uh... This may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What have we here? Is that a hammer? Insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only oh, mortar. to oblige. <laughs> cave troll. I mean, human cave troll. But yes. Then let's shut him up. It, it, it's a cannon. This reminds me of the this fight in Diablo 3. <laughs> There's a boss that it's pretty much this. Doggo heal. Get him, dogger. Music though. Not this time. Oh my god. Limit break. That's so tanky. Potion. Ah, damn it. I got greedy. The favor of the Inferno ignition. I'll never get used to that. The classic or no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. Hold on. Akashic. 
the irreversible change brought by a living being overexposure to ether creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self that they may have once had and become suffused with life force usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression flora can also turn resulting in their twisted overgrowth those with ethereal tolerance however such as dominance and bearers are likely are less likely to turn akashic okay um Though the people of Valisthea rely on the crystal mine from these mountains in their everyday lives and flock to the ether-rich lands around them in pursuit of their blessing, Sid posits that it is in fact the mother crystals and their ability to draw ether from the earth that is the reason for the Deadlands advance. The few who learn the truth are hunted down by those in positions of power, those whose power rests on their control of this crucial resource way for anyone to go. Come on. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. What? <laughs> Get off it. There we go. Oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us. But I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. I feel like I haven't upgraded my character in a while. Okay, there's not really a whole lot. I mean, what did I get? Taunt, eh. I don't really use the magic too much. Executing a dodge at the moment. Counter attacks. Yeah, okay, I'll upgrade that. I use melee combat more than the uh the magic. I just find this dude's better at melee. <laughs> Every time I see that, it just makes me smile because it's just the dog and its vicious attacks. to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Hmm? There's something behind that. I wonder why it says point of no return. Something bad. Something bad's about to happen. Oh. <sighs> Jeez. Oh shit. Not quite as 
bright as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side, eh? At least you won't get lost. Hmm. That was a weird scene. I thought some creature was like gonna grab him or something. Warcry. Some opponents will use the Warcry ability to invigorate themselves, enhancing performance in battle. Look for the icon. Okay. Get him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what happens? The dash didn't work. I, I went straight through him. such a dumb finisher, but I like it. Just kick them while they're down. No magic, just good old-fashioned kick. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not up this way? It's alright, Doggo will lead us in the right direction. Whoa, 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 camera. I'll go lead the way. Where where am I going? There? Ah. Oh, that's a big hammer. You 
damn it. I hate these guys with the hammer, they just take ages. One of them one shot me once, that's why like, I'm afraid of that aura thing. <laughs> I thought I was perfectly fine, and then nope, explosion, dead. that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Three. <laughs> what happened to two? Why did they think that was going to work? Once more. Aye, as soon as you're trying now. What? <laughs> what is this? Okay, it actually worked. As if that was gonna keep us out. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Guess we're about to find out why it's a point in our return. That up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait, you don't mean. Aye, my little game of hide and seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? You should try it. Smart ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, that thing with him falling, I feel like Sid might die here. I mean, he's already terminally ill. This whole thing is just... He keeps talking about the future he wants to create, I don't know. Like, I, I just get this vibe that he might not survive this game. How could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? Uh, two places connected somehow. Like, that, that thing with the, uh... The gap in him for almost falling in, it's, it's like some foreshadowing there. Yeah. 
the music as well. <laughs> it's just... I wonder what's gonna happen. Whoa, what the hell is that? Of the dodge. It seems that the dodge window is a lot better now. How many doors do they want? This seems really impractical. Would tell stories about something they call the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Where did that come from? If I had to guess... Poor beast. Another victim of the Flood. Good start. Not this time. Doesn't seem to have as much health though, unless it has a phase two. trying. I mean, the thing hasn't got control of, of its mind, so it's like... Probably a friendly dragon, but gone now. What is... Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Ah! 
Thank you, doggo. I can't believe the dog is the white mage in this game. My wounds, boy. You know what to do, boy. Gotcha. What is this? Jeez. <laughs> oh! Okay, it's pissed. <laughs> Crap! I'm sure I can craft something with that stuff. Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Oh, yeah. If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end. They'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. I think his illness is spreading. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? I think this is why it's a point of no return. We're almost there. Anyone having second thoughts? Not me. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? Do you have to phrase it like that? <laughs> Let me just make sure. Because I, I get the feeling we can't come back here. That's a visual right there. It's beautiful. The heart of Sambrek. Well, 
That didn't work. I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive. But I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Taja's going to have a fit when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Gandalf. Is this really going to be like someone that looks like Gandalf is going to do something sacrificial? Oh no, dog I know. <laughs> you shall not pass, I know, right? Where the hell am I? This is Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. Oh shit. That's not good. Typhon has been repelled. You. you again? Where are you? What do you want? Fuck. It's still alive. Oh, 
Oh boy. I don't have heals either. <laughs> I have to survive on the health I have. Doggo is not going to be here to regenerate me constantly. What now? What's that line? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> what else can do? Avoid the lines. Good, good to know. Holy crap. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> that power isn't yours. After, wait. Okay. Alright, noted. Oh, the attacks are so much slower. Okay, fireball is a lot better. <laughs> What now? Dodging like wildfire, using L as a circle to avoid wide scale attacks. Oh no. I, I'm pretty sure if I get hit by one of those, that's it, I'm dead. That was the case last time.
Oh, doesn't it, wait, doesn't it have special seal? Oh, okay. I guess I gotta earn them. Dead. Well, <laughs> how many more could there be? Uh. What the hell is this? As you wish. Oh no, okay, this is harder. <laughs> Jeez. Probably my best interest to go range on this fight. Oh no. Oh <laughs> shit. Melee seems like a bad idea. Come back, game show. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck! I don't have potions. There's no potions with, with this form. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I've got this one. Dude. His melee attacks are way too brutal. Okay. I'm just going to have to play it like that. Please, no.
attack like really messed me up. Jeez. Dude, there's too much here. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't move quick enough. that wall attack I'm screwed it's okay it's okay stagger get him <laughs> wait what oh no oh no I hope this this is like a dramatic finish. I'm not sure I can survive another one of the big attacks. This is like something out of Dragon Ball, like the spirit bomb. <sighs> Thank fuck. Dude, I was not going to survive another round of that. I was so close to death. Yeah, better been a level up. Jeez. Ooh. Rare necklace. This is why it was a point of no return. That fight was, was probably the hardest one I've done so far. It warned me. Oh, shit. That can't be good. Clive. See himself. There he is. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This, it's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll, we'll <laughs> find you here. Here. No, you won't. The dog can heal. Uh 
Uh, hello? I know who you are. And if you think, I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Try not to talk. Clive, for so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you, and I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his face. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Oh, come on. Don't do this. The rest is your hands. The crystal's blessing is a prison, Clive. And if it's an outlaw the world needs to help it break free. I can think of none better than you. Jeez. In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Well, look who's here. Sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Great, the dog survived. I saw you protect them. That 
was very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. You have learned our name. Is that the brother? Yep. What else have you learned, Phoenix? I mean, to be expected. My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. Like, his power is the Phoenix. And the Phoenix dies and comes back. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. I'm sorry, this is like, you shall not pass. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We have come to claim our vessel. And I said... No. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. Shit. Meanwhile, at the hideaway. All oh, right, yeah. Shit. Ooh. Um. If it shows up, no. But uh, yeah, Backstabia's boyfriend not happy that she's dead. Fire! 
mind shit are all fucking dead. Shit, help us. Where is he? You'll do. Oh shit. the dead shall I send a stolas that's why we can't come back that won't be necessary Yeah, I mean, for a Final Fantasy game, I I, I haven't seen one this gritty. <laughs> it's less anime style. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Drop Make a nice steaks, gift to your wife. Sausage, all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here. Take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Curatives, restoratives, uncles, all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. This is five years later. It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? Wait, what? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. Hold on. Hmm. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. A lot of time jumps, yeah. But I think he's he's calling himself Sid now. Forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not. He's also gotten his mark covered. Doesn't have to be you who frees them. He looks a lot like his dad now. Damn it all! You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. I mean, I guess it makes sense. He can't go by his old name. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. It's 
so wait, how old is he? He was 15, 13 years, 28. He's 33. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. Oh, that girl's gonna wrap them out. Forgive him, my lord. Maybe. I did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <laughs> It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? <laughs> Sid's line. Sid's here. Okay, so I have the power of thunder now. The power of thunder. Clive has claimed a portion of Icon Rama's essence. Yeah, yeah. Blind justice can be used to launch a barrage of ball lightning at up to nine targets. Okay. Oh, it's like oh, it's like javelins. That's cool. The attack is literally called Thunder. How many are there? Titan senses with guards. Okay, that one's cool. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. channeling ability. Oh, come on. Let him play with the kitten. The kitten? They brought a pet. <laughs> that thing looks so weird. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. It just looks too bulky. I'm so glad I upgraded the dodge. <laughs> I think honestly if it weren't for that, I, I probably would have lost. Come <laughs> on. 
Ah, oh, damn it. Canceled it. <laughs> They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. So I'm, um, I mean, I'm guessing we'll get the power of Earth once we beat him. Shit, I hope this doesn't end up being, like... Because she has the power of ice. I guess if she dies, then, yeah. My like, we end up with all the elements. Friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? The fuck? Now. What? <laughs> what are these noises they're making? To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Yeah, I mean, this kind of confirms that the dog is, like, some magic dog. <laughs> uh, I can't- I really want to get to a point where I can save. I don't know why it doesn't let you save on the map screen. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home, sweet home. Home? The 
hideaway. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, I was worried. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I think we might end up with ice. Because it's like. There's no way this, they're going to leave this unbalanced. There's at least two more powers. Maybe a third one. Like it's going to be like a full circle. Hmm. Let me see. I don't think I'll be using the channeling thing. That attack was pretty useful. Okay. Game, please. I've gone this entire time without saving. Okay. That is a logical stopping point for now. We'll pick this up, uh, not tomorrow, the day after, because I don't usually plan to stream on Tuesdays. So, yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and hope you enjoyed.